ever since Boruto's Naruto's Next Generation was announced, um, and the final episode of Naruto Shibuden aired, and what an awesome episode that was. A lot of people were mad and sad because they didn't get the epilogue chapter animated, but honestly, that ending was just beautifully done, and I think it was a fitting ending to actually Naruto. But... You know, there's been a lot of debate, a lot of debate, a lot of videos, a lot of forums, and just a lot of talk about Boruto. And can it live up to Naruto's legacy? Um, as a Naruto fan and as an anime fan, you know, Naruto is just one of those rare gems that, like, transcended, you know, it went global. Like, everybody in the anime community, no matter what country you are, knows Naruto. I mean, it is... It was one of Shojin's big three, you know, Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, and, you know, it it was just a phenomenal, phenomenal show. A great anime, a great manga, and it was just a phenomenal show, and it was so deep, and there was so much content. I mean, the legacy of Naruto will go down in history as, you know, one of the most successful anime fran you know, uh, franchises. And can Boruto live up to that? Can it live up to its legacy? You know, it's a hard thing to live up to. And there's a lot of skeptics say that it won't. You know, a lot of diehard Naruto fans say that it won't. That it's just to continue off the money train. And just to milk Naruto as much as possible. But I feel different. I feel like it can live up to, Naru to, to Naruto's legacy. It's too soon to tell. Because... There's only 8 episodes aired. There's only 12, 13 chapters of the Boruto manga. So it's very hard to tell at this moment. But at this moment, I think it's doing a good job. And I think it can potentially live up to Naruto's legacy and be a good successor. Be a good successor for the next generation of actually anime watchers and actually on manga readers. Um... You know, let's go back to the very first episode, that very first scene where actually we have an older Boruto. Um, it looks like to be Naruto's age in the beginning of uh, Shibuden, and he's fighting Kawatsuki. And just that beginning scene just really set the tone, and it really did a good job. And, you know, um, it really, like, set the fact that, okay, no, we are not going to try to you know, cash in on Naruto's success. This is going to be our own thing. And, you know, they left a lot of things that really, like, glued people into the show and made them watch. Now, it's not as dark as Naruto Shibuden so far, and it's not as dark as the original Naruto series. Because if you look at the original Naruto series, it was pretty dark. I mean, it was comedic, it was funny at times, but at times it got really dark. And Boruto, just even with the whole dark chakra stuff that is going on, the show is pretty lighthearted. You know, the show is really tailored to a younger crowd. And, you know, the older people like myself and stuff like that, that have been watching Naruto and have been reading the Naruto mangas for 10 plus years, going on 15 years. Um, you know, it could be a bit of a turnoff because we are so used to that dark and grittiness of actually Naruto of uh, Naruto. So, but honestly, the lightheartedness didn't really turn me off. It, it it actually was a great refresh to all of all of the recent darkness and stuff like that in the, in the Naruto Shibuden. And um you know, just the characters and their story um you know, everything is getting fleshed out very well so far in the Boruto anime as well as the Boruto manga. So, it it has the recipe, and so far, it has everything going for it to be a true successor and to be a great show. And hopefully, you know, in time, I hope that they don't try to drag it out as long as the Naruto um, anime did, as well as the Naruto Shibuna anime, with a lot of fillers. But that's to be ex expected with a successful franchise. You know, they're going to they're gonna try to milk it for, for uh, as long as possible. But I really hope that the Boruto anime, as well as the Boruto manga, just continues to do its own thing. And hopefully, in time, it will be a true successor. It's too early now to say. I think a lot of these videos are premature. But um, as of right now, in my opinion, 
it is doing everything right so far to be a good successor and to live up to Naruto's legacy. So what do you guys think? Comment below, guys. Do you think Boruto can be a true successor? Can it live up to Naruto's legacy? Comment below, guys. I really want to hear your guys' thoughts about it. Thank you for everybody that's commenting on my videos and watching my videos, even if they're negative comments about how sucky my quality is. You know, I want to see it. I want to continue to grow as a YouTuber as well as my YouTube channel. So comment below, guys. Comment, share, subscribe, and just, you know, enjoy your day. Have an awesome day, guys.